In this video, I will show you how to send up to 1,500 personalized emails per day directly from your Gmail account. In other words, we'll find out how to send a bulk email. You are probably going to tell me that group sending is something you can already do on Gmail, at least to some extent. The process is the following. We insert our emails in the BCC section. We send the email and as a result, recipients won't see who else you have sent an email to. It keeps an impression of uniqueness, even though it's nothing but a mere illusion. But let's be serious. This approach is far from being perfect. And this is why Gmail recently created a new feature, Mail Merge. In this video, we will discover how to use it to send out your newsletters. As for the question of whether you can use it to conduct an email campaign, the answer is yes, maybe. However, I do not recommend it given that it's a fairly recent feature. So it still lacks a lot of things to make its use really interesting and efficient in a cold mailing situation. All you need to do to follow this tutorial is to use one of the following Google Workspace editions. Workspace Individual, Business Standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Starter, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, Education Standard, Education Plus. If this condition is met, let's jump into it. Here you are in my professional Gmail account. Let's have a look at our amazing feature. Actually, the Mail Mage feature is displayed on this screen. Indeed, we can see it at the top right corner of our screen. If I click on Use Mail Merge, now the color is changed to purple. And we've got a notification from Google telling that each recipient will get a separate copy of this email with a unique unsubscribe link. Something you have to know is that, I don't know why, but this feature is only displayed when I use this Gmail account and Google Chrome. And it doesn't work from an over browser. I don't know why, but if you've got the same issue as I encountered, please use your Gmail account and Google Chrome. I'm gonna use another email address of mine and let's say hello. Let's keep things short and simple. It's important to keep the unsubscribe link and not to remove it. Otherwise, Gmail is likely to consider our message as a spam. I click on continue. I click on got it. I can send a preview of my message first. It comes in handy when I want to send, I don't know, hundreds of emails at once. But in our case, when I send one message at a time, there is no use doing it. So I click and send all. I've received my email. So let's try out the unsubscribe link. I will be able to unsubscribe from the mailing list, kind of. But the most interesting thing here is that I received an email telling me that the recipient indeed has unsubscribed. Another interesting aspect is that we can send personalized emails at least to some extent, because so far it's not really powerful. We can only personalize four elements, but maybe it will be improved in the near future. Let's compose another email one more time. And I can personalize my first name, my last name, my full name, which is a combination of the first name and the last name, and the email address. However, there is an issue here. And the problem is that we can know what the email address is for sure, because it's written here. However, how can we know what the first name is? And the answer is we cannot know it. 
because we haven't created a contact yet. So let's see how to create a contact related to this email address. To begin with, let's do it manually. Let's create a contact. I invite you to open in a new tab and now I can create my contact. I insert my first name, I input my last name, I can add more details if I want to. I click on save, I reload my web page, my contact has been saved, so it should work out. I've got my first name, my last name, and my full name. If I click on preview, I've got Francois as a first name, Dufort Boisdin as a last name, and Francois Dufort Boisdin as a full name. So it's an efficient way to create contacts. However, we obviously won't create each contact one by one. The aim is to create a list of contacts instead, a list of leads. And in order to do so, we can use Scrub.io. The purpose of Scrub.io is to help you to scrape Google Map leads. And we can see that we can scrape emails from companies, which is the data field we are mostly interested in. In other words, if you want to target small or medium-sized companies, Google Maps might be the good platform for you. To make use of Scrub.io, you have to create an account first. And once it is done, you have access to your dashboard, which is the tab in which you will be able to retrieve all your leads based on two criteria. The first one is the activity. Actually, there are around 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. So if you want to have access to the full list, we'll let you a link in the description. And we've got location criteria. For example, I can change the country from France to United States. I can select a level one division, which entails a state. The level two division is represented by a county and the city means a city. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So I can target restaurants in New York City, for example. The point is that we can filter our data out even more. We have said that we are interested in getting email addresses only. And basically all of these filters will allow you to split your database up. Let's click on filter and I will get fewer results, of course, but much more targeted ones. If I'm happy with my result, I can click on export and I can say that I want to get the first 100 email addresses. I click on export. Finally, I should be able to download a CSV and an Excel file. All I need to do is to wait for a little bit. So I see you back once I've got my result. Now I am going to create a bulk email. Let's create our list of contact first. I've got my CSV file. All I need to do is to create a new contact or to import a contact, which is also available here. I select my file. I select my CSV file. I import it. It seems like everything sounds correct. And the last thing I have to do is to rename my label. I can say restaurant New York. I click on save. The best thing to do is to reload my page and let's type our label's name, restaurant New York. And I will be able to create my bulk email. However, there is something we could have improved. If we take a look at one contact details, in most cases, Gmail's is having a hard time identifying what the first name and the last name is. So maybe it could be a good idea to improve our contact details a little bit. It is possible, but in that case, we have to create a Google spreadsheet. In other words, how to create a list of contacts with names. I've got my Google spreadsheet. I've got my Excel file. And the first thing I'm going to do is to remove any duplicates in my email data field. I click on data, remove duplicates. I select email 
and I've got six duplicates. Once it is done, I copy and paste my colon. In my A colon, I'm going to paste the colon regarding the name of companies. We've got everything we need. What remains to do is to share my Google spreadsheet in order to make sure that Gmail is allowed to have access to it. I give access to everyone who has a link and I click on OK. Now let's come back to our Gmail account. And if I click on use mail merge one more time, I can add from a spreadsheet. I have access to my Google spreadsheet as long as it is the same account. I have to select two elements only, email and first name. The last name is optional. The email is related to the email column and the first name is the company's name. I click on finish and let's see what it looks like. I click on preview. I've got my company's name. As you can see, it's good, but it's not perfect because Gmail doesn't take into account special characters and it sounds like a special character to me. Maybe it could have been a good idea to replace special characters or simply to remove them in order to have a better database. On the other hand, email addresses sounds perfect. I click on OK and now I'm able to send my bulk email. Obviously, I won't do it because it was just an example. One last thing you might be interested in is that you can use some layouts. If you select a layout, you can have a layout looking like a newsletter. Then you are perfectly able to customize your text. I'm not a huge fan of this feature. I prefer to keep things simple and to work harder on our emails rather than spending a lot of time determining what the best layout looks like. It doesn't influence that much the success of your emailing campaigns. Alfu Mail Merge is a useful feature. It also comes with a couple of drawbacks. And these disadvantages prevent Gmail from being a suitable email marketing tool. The first drawback is send limits. We can send an email to a maximum of 1,500 recipients per day. Actually, this limit is usually not a problem. Unless if you are a company, a big company with a large customer's database or an important influencer willing to send out newsletters. Number two, email sequences. Gmail cannot create email sequences, at least for now. We cannot automate something like, oh, I'm going to send one email and if recipients don't answer it within three days, I will send another one. Nevertheless, if we get a response from the first message or the second one, or the third one. We stop our sequence, but the sequence is stopped only for people who have replied. We cannot do that. Mail merge can be used with schedule sends. We send a bulk email now or never. We send it once we are ready. Probably the most annoying disadvantage is that we are unable to adjust our strategy. We don't have access to any feedback, to any metrics. It's like trying to score a goal blindfolded. Low chance of success. To draw a parallel, we cannot do any A-B tests. It's fine as long as we only want to send out newsletters. But that's a bit of a problem for an email campaign. Finally, obviously, we must follow local regulations and Gmail policies. You can see on your screen some best practices about bulk email. The rules are not crystal clear. However, if we remain ethical and if we apply a bit of common sense, it should work out. Please note that what I'm saying only applies at the moment I'm shooting this video. And rules, features, may evolve over time. This is the end of the video. I hope 
you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you need any help to collect your leads, to retrieve real-time email addresses, you can have a look at scrap.io. The link remains in the description. See you next time.